Okay, and now we will learn this first objective, how to label the special angles of the unit circle in degrees and in radians. Okay, so here is a diagram of our unit circle, and there are 17 special angles of our unit circle. Let's first imagine where we are in space here. Here is the zero, zero, that's the origin. And since the unit circle has a radius of one, this is the point one, zero, and this, is the point zero one and this is the point negative one zero and this is the point zero negative one so you can imagine where we are in space we've got all of these angles in our unit circle what I'd like to do first is label all of these angles in degrees and that's going to go on the left side the, the left blanks and then we're going to come back and equal them equate them to what they are in radians you are going to need four colors um, possibly just a regular pencil lead color that I'm just doing that in black you'll need a red you'll need an orange and you'll need a blue so please pause and get those colors whether they're color pencils or crayons or markers markers, but this color coding will definitely help you. Okay, so I'm going to first start with pencil lead, or my it's going to be black on my Promethean, and I'm going to go to I, what I think are the easiest angles. If this is, um, you remember, standard position is the vertex is at zero, zero, and this is, of course, always the initial side. If I don't actually move up or down, then I'm just talking about a zero degree angle. If I just come right out here, this point is just a zero degree angle. The next easiest one to remember, of course, is the 90 degrees, which is exactly perpendicular up here. So I'm going to make this a 90 degree angle. And I'm just going to do my multiples of 90 degrees. The next 90 degrees would get me to 180 degrees. And the next 90 degrees would get me to 270 degrees and add another 90 degrees, and we're back to zero degrees, but since we went one full circle around, we actually are at, we actually are at 360 degrees. And that's where we'll stop. So this angle actually has double duty. It's called zero degrees. It's also called 360 degrees if we've gone one circle around. I'm going to move to blue. I'm going to switch to a blue color now. And I'm going to do half of 90 degrees. I'm going to do the multiple of 45 degrees. 45 degrees is exactly in the middle of, the, of each of the quadrants, really. So this first one is going to be 45 degrees right here. If I keep adding 45 degrees to get around the circle, I'll have 45 degrees, of course. For another 45 degrees actually gets me to 90, but I've already been there. Another 45 degrees added to 90 is 135 degrees still in blue. Another 45 degrees adds up to 180 degrees. Another 45 degrees gives me right in the middle of the third quadrant, which is 225 degrees. Another 45 degrees gets me to 270. I've already been there. We'll add one more 45 degrees to 270 degrees, and we are in the middle of the fourth quadrant at 315 degrees. You can add 45 more, and you'll get to 360. That's the blue. Next, we're going to be going back and forth from orange to red. I'm going to start with orange. Now I'm going to do all the multiples of 30 degrees. The first angle that we get in the positive direction from 0 degrees is up just a little 30 degree angle. I'm doing this in orange. If I keep adding 30 degrees, I'm going to get all of the rest of my special angles. If I add 30 degrees to 30 degrees, then I'll be at 60, but I'm changing that color to red. I'm going to explain the color coding later. 60 degrees. Add 30 more and we're at 90. We've already been there. Add 30 more and we're at 120 degrees. Continues to be red. Add 30 more and we're at 150 degrees, but that's going to switch to orange. Add 30 more degrees and we are at 180. We've already been there. Add 30 more degrees, and now we're at 210 degrees, still orange. Add 30 more degrees, and we're at 240, but that's switching to red. Add 30 more degrees, and we're at 270. We've already been there. Add 30 more degrees, and now we're at 300 degrees, still red. Add 30 more degrees, and we're at 330. That's switching back to orange. 
and we're basically finished. Add another 30 degrees and we're at 60, 360 degrees. So the first thing you might notice about this color, of course, is that the blue ones are exactly in the middle of the quadrants. The red ones are closer to the y-axis up top here and down here. And the orange ones are closer to the x-axis here and here. OK. That's true. And that's going to be the same exact color coding when we get to our radians. And we're about to do that now. So I'm going to go back to our pencil lead, or black in my case. And now I'm going to talk about radians. Oh, one more thing. Notice that, of course, every single one of the angles that I drew so far has a degree symbol. Go back and look at yours and make sure you have a degree symbol for every one, because I will take off a half a point if you are missing your degree symbol. It's very important. So now let's talk about radians. Let's equate all of these to radians. Same sort of thing, since that's zero degrees, this would be zero pi radians. I know that zero times pi is zero, but I always like to put the pi in there so that I remember that I'm talking about radians. You don't have to. It's a zero. It's a zero. And I'm going to go to the next, uh, the next one. If I go up here, now remember all the way around is two pi. Uh, maybe I put that in right now. That's two pi. So since that full circle is 2 pi, I know that half of the circle is 1 pi. So that would be over here, equivalent to 180 degrees. And if this whole half of the circle is 1 pi, then half of that would be pi over 2. So really, I'm counting by pi over 2s. So here's 1 pi over 2, and then 2 pi over 2, and then 3 pi over 2. And then 4 pi over 2. 4 pi over 2, of course, reduces to 2 pi. The next I'm going to count with my blues, and that's the 45 degree angles. Well, this is exactly halfway between 0 pi and pi over 2. So hopefully that makes sense that that's pi over 4, 1 fourth of a pi. And I'm going to continue to count by fourths now. So here's 1 fourth of a pi, or pi over 4, and then 2 pi over 4, but that reduces. And then 3 pi over 4, and then 4 pi over 4, but that reduces, and then 5 pi over 4, and then 6 pi over 4, but that reduces, and finally 7 pi over 4. And then 8 pi over 4, of course, but that reduces. So you can see that our blue pi over 4s are the odds. 1 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. I'm trying to build this unit circle in a way that you can remember any specific angle. Not for you to just be able to recreate the entire thing, which of course you'd be able to do, but I want you to remember, I, I like to memorize them in terms of chunks. And that's ultimately why these all four are blue. And I'll explain that at the end. Okay, now I'm doing the, I did the 30 degrees next, so that's what I'm going to do here. 30 degrees is equivalent to pi over 6, because there are 6 30 degrees to get to 180, 6 times 30. So that must mean that we're chunking into pi over 6s. So here's 1 pi over 6. I'm going to go to the next one, which would be 2 pi over 6. But because 2 pi over 6 reduces, I'm changing color to red. 2 pi over 6 is pi over 3. That's 2 pi over 6. Here's 3 pi over 6. That reduced already. 4 pi over 6 reduces to 2 pi over 3. 5 pi over 6. That does not reduce, so I'm going to continue to keep it orange. 5 pi over 6. 6 pi over 6, of course, is pi. 7 pi over 6. That did not reduce either. Keep going. 8 pi over 6, but since 8 pi over 6 reduces, I'm going to reduce, I'm going to change color to red, 4 pi over 3. 9 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6 reduces to 5 pi over 3. And 11 pi over 6, but 11 pi over 6 did not reduce. We have now labeled all 17 of our special angles in our unit circle. 
Now let me explain the color, because some people like the color coding, because then their eyes can remember where things are. Why did I use blue? Because all four of my blue angles have a denominator of four. They're right here in the middle, and blue is a four-letter word. All of my pi over sixes, here's one pi over six, and then across to five pi over six, and then down to seven pi over six, and then over here to 11 pi over six, all four of these are in orange because they're all a denominator of six, and orange has six letters. And then the reds, one pi over three, two pi over three, all the way down to four pi over three, and five pi over three, all four of these in this chunk have a denominator of three, and red starts with three letters, or doesn't start, it's spelled with three letters. So the color coding might help you to remember the entirety of this unit circle, because it's 17 things that you need to remember. You'll just have to practice with that. That's the end of this tutorial. There are other connections to how to remember you know, where all of these angles are that we could talk about that you might be discovering, but hopefully the color coding helped you there. Thanks.